Hello. In this video, we are going to do two things. The first is to derive the reduced form of the van der Waals equation. The second thing is to derive the critical compression factor for the van der Waals gas. We recall that we can write the van der Waals equation in the following form where V sub M is the molar volume, that is the volume of the gas V divided by N, the number of moles of the gas. We have the reduced forms of the relevant variables. So we have P sub bar, this is the reduced pressure. T sub bar is the reduced temperature. V sub bar is the reduced molar volume. And these quantities are defined in such a way that the real pressure, P, with no subscript, is equal to P sub C, this is the critical pressure, times the reduced pressure. The real temperature is equal to the critical temperature times the reduced temperature. And the real molar volume is equal to the critical volume times the reduced volume. For reference, we list the values of the critical constants for the van der Waals gas. If you do not know where these come from, you can see a derivation in this video. P sub C is the critical pressure, T sub C is the critical temperature, and V sub C is the critical volume for the van der Waals gas. We make use of the fact that we can rewrite the molar volume in the van der Waals equation as the critical volume times the reduced volume. And we know that the critical volume is 3b, so we can replace v sub m by 3b v sub r. So we do it here, and we do it here. Recall since the uh, molar volume is squared, we have to square this particular quantity. Simplifying. We can factor out a b in the denominator of the first term. So now that we get b times the quantity 3v sub r minus 1, and then the 3v sub r b squared is now 9b squared v sub r squared. And that takes care of the uh, introduction of the um, reduced form for the volume. Next, we replace the real temperature T by the product of the reduced temperature T sub R and the critical temperature T sub C, which is exactly this expression here, 8A over 27BR. So in the process, we replace T by TR times TC. Important thing to keep track of is T is only involved in the first expression here and not in the second term. So when we multiply, it has to multiply by the expression in the brackets, but it does not affect the second term. We can simplify a little bit by noticing that we can cancel the gas constant R here and in the denominator so that we get this particular expression for the real pressure. Notice that we've made the substitutions that we've introduced the uh, reduced volume and the reduced temperature. So the only thing left for the final form of the reduced van der Waals equation is to make the appropriate substitutions to introduce the reduced pressure. Now we make use of the fact that the real pressure is equal to the reduced pressure times the um, critical pressure. So going from here to here, we had to divide by the critical pressure, P sub C. So Dividing on this side, essentially we've multiplied by the reciprocal of P sub C. So that is why we have this 27B squared over A. This is the reciprocal of the critical pressure. And now, even though this seems like a complicated expression, we have a number of quantities that are going to simplify. First, we notice that the A's cancel. Secondly, we notice that the B squareds cancel. So here and here, and here as well. Finally, we notice that 27 will cancel 27 for this term, but then 27 and 9, 27 with 9 leaves 3 here, and 1 there. 
And so we get that the reduced pressure is equal to A times the reduced temperature divided by 3 times the reduced volume minus 1 minus 3 over the reduced volume squared. And we notice in this particular form, all the quantities are now reduced and we've eliminated the van der Waals constants A and B, which are uh, specific to individual gases. So here we have a generic equation that is true for all van der Waals gases at their critical temperature, pressure, and volume. Now for the second part of the video, and we recall that the compression factor Z, or Z, is defined as the pressure times the molar volume divided by R times the temperature. And we note that for the ideal or perfect gas, that the compression factor Z is identically 1. We are going to now derive what that particular value is for the van der Waals gas. Specifically, the compression factor at the critical temperature, pressure, and volume, which is known as the critical compression factor Z sub C. In equation form, the critical compression factor Z or Z sub C is equal to P sub C V sub C divided by R times T sub C. To solve, we simply substitute the appropriate values into this equation. This term here in parentheses is the critical pressure A divided by 27B squared. The critical volume V sub C is 3B. R is still R, and then the critical temperature, T sub C, is 8A divided by 27BR. We notice a number of simplifications that we can make. A is cancel A, R cancels R, B, B, and B squared, these cancel each other, and the 27s cancel each other, so we're left with simply 3 over 8. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one. Stay safe.